Welcome to the Ethereum 2023 hand kept GAN chart update. Let's start here around 1700. We drew an angle. I went 20 boxes over and 10 boxes down. That's a two by one angle. And then I connect the points and lo and behold, what do I get? I get support at 1150. So there was a big drop in ETH from 1300 to 1150. And what do you know? It stopped right on this really important GAN line. Now there's another important GAN line here at 1200. This is particularly interesting because this angle goes all the way back, all the way back to the merge high at 2000. It's a four lines over, one line down, a four by one. And that line stretches all the way out and comes in right here at 1200. Actually, at the moment, it's probably right around 1150. So, what do you think would happen if there was a flash dump in ETH to say 1150? I'm thinking this GAN support is going to hold because ETH broke this line by going sideways. It retested it once and again here. Tough to see, I know. But then if it flashes down to 1150 and holds, ETH has got a springboard to go higher for the first time in a while. This line was particularly important because there was this really ugly false breakout in this area near 1300, right? And of course that ugly false breakout was what triggered the move to 1150. But this is seemingly a change, right? ETH is holding above 1200, Okay, and if ETH holds support on a flash dump to 1150 at the start of the year, everyone gets bearish, GAN support holds, and that's the catalyst to get ETH moving higher. Now, of course, if ETH takes out 1150, you know, it looks like there's really nobody home until this point here at 1000. And that's kind of obvious, right? A lot of people have talked about a retest of 1000, and I get it. But what a lot of people are not talking about is the importance of 1150. And I can show it on a chart that not that many people can see. So that's the Ethereum GAN update. Stay tuned for more.